What's up, financers? It's E of ENL Finance, coming at you with episode 20 of the Weevil Challenge, where our overall goal is to create passive income on a monthly basis. So I'm just going to jump right into it, open up the Weevil app, and show you why I'm so excited. Look at that expected dividend for the March 2021 payment. We are expecting $26.90. But wait, there's more. There's still companies that haven't been added to this list because their dividend EX date is later in this month. But man, does it feel good to see that high monthly payout? It goes to show you what consecutive investing looks like. We are slowly approaching the one year mark of this challenge. And it was a hard fought battle. It's tough breaking that cycle of spending money on materialistic things or going out with friends and just enjoying yourself. Like you work hard for that money that you earn and you wanna treat yourself from time to time. So it's just hard to break that cycle and put it to invest for the future instead of using it for the now. For those that have been following the challenge and started creating your own monthly portfolio, I hope you're enjoying this big payday. So in this week's update, we'll be talking about the spending spree we went on these last two weeks, the newly added company to the portfolio, going over our dividend tracker tool and comparing it to what we are actually getting paid and our thoughts on what it's like to consecutively invest on a weekly basis. But before we begin, if you're into stocks, investing challenges, and innovative ways to invest, hit that big old subscribe button and join the bear bull of YouTube. I just want to say sorry for the late Weeboo update. Normally we have our updates on Sunday, but we've been swamped with uh, midterms, projects, and planning for upcoming events. So we missed last week's update. So we have quite a lot to inform you guys of how the portfolio is looking. I recently have to come to terms with something that I'm addicted to buying stocks on a dip day or week or month. Once I see red, I become a totally different person. All I see is dollar signs and the last two weeks I've been on a spending spree exceeding the $50 weekly budget. But with that said, I was able to buy two shares of CLM, three shares of HRZN, three shares of PFLT, eight shares of ORC, eight shares of GECC, and four shares of the newly added QYLD, Global X NASDAQ 100 covered calls. Shout out to Dividend Bull for the video on this stock. If you're wondering about the cost of the spending spree, it came out to a little under $150 worth of investing. I know that's three weeks worth of investing budget that was just spent in the last two weeks, but you just don't know how long these dips are going to last or if they're going to continue. We had the goal in mind to reach 10 shares of these companies so we can start moving on to companies like Maine, PBA, SPHD, and LTC, as these companies will use most of our weekly budget just to acquire one share. Now, touching on the dividend tracker tool, back in episode 18 of the Weeble Challenge, our dividend tracker tool said we were getting paid $27.26 for the month of March, when in actually, we are getting paid $28.92 before EOC is added, which will bring this month's total to $29.11. I know, earlier we said we were getting paid $26.90, but remember, we also got paid at the beginning of March and in the middle of March. When we include those payments, we end up with a total of $29.11 for the entire month of March. Taking a look at our dividend tracker, our current va our account value is $2,967 up $337 with a dividend yield of 13.94%. Our yield on cost is 15.72% with an annual income of $414. Break that up into 12 months, that's $34.50 a month. Looking at the forecast April dividend payment, it says we are going to get $27.95. And from May to December, we should get over $30 in dividends. This big difference between April and May of dividend payments can be related to some companies that haven't confirmed a dividend payment yet for the month of April. We're going to do another video in which we break down everything using our Excel spreadsheet to get a more accurate reading on how much our dividend payment is and how the overall account is really growing. Our thoughts on this challenge is it's quite hard 
mainly because it's like having another bill you have to keep having the money available to invest every week and it even if the market is up or down you're still investing so for instance there might be a week where the market is rising and the stocks that you want are a bit expensive and then the following week they go down and it's like well if i would have just held on to that money i would have been able to buy all of your shares cheaper but the whole point of weekly investing is not trying to time the market it's time in the market and then there might be a week or two where your paycheck might not fall on most people get paid bi-weekly so now you have to budget yourself to make sure that all of your bills and expenses are paid for along with having the money to invest that's why we kind of started this challenge because we wanted to show people if you can get through the hurdle then you can start creating passive income yes the first few steps the first few weeks might be difficult but after you get a good flow going on and get used to investing weekly it's like an everyday task so we hope that our videos and our challenges can inspire you to start your journey in creating passive income. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you find this information useful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and set your alerts to receive more content like this one. See you guys in the next one. And remember to follow the three M's money makes money.